Minecraft is a game about breaking and placing blocks. At first, people built structures to protect against nocturnal monsters. But as the game grew, players worked together to create wonderful, imaginative things. In today's video, we take a look at 7 things that you probably didn't know about Minecraft. The yellow lines of text in the title screen are called splash text. They're randomly chosen from a list embedded in the code of the game. Not only does it remind you to call your mother, but it also features obscure and sometimes cryptic references to popular culture. One splash reads, All is full of love, which is a direct reference to Bjork's 1999 single of the same name. Down with OPP might sound like an activist chant against oppression, but it's really a song title of the smash hip-hop hit from Naughty by Nature. You may think that Notch wants you to literally put that cookie down, but really it's a reference to Arnold Schwarzenegger's 1996 Christmas comedy, Jingle All the Way. Oh, cookies! I gotta get the recipe from Les. Put that cookie down! Now! Daniel Rosenfeld is a musician and sound engineer and is the sole composer and sound designer for Minecraft. He often goes by the moniker C418. When the music file of disc 11 is viewed as a spectrogram, it is possible to see an image. Now, without getting too technical, a spectrogram is a visual representation of a spectrum of frequencies in audio. At the end of this particular music file, you can see what looks like an image of Steve's head and some seemingly random numbers. After looking at numerous websites trying to verify this, I decided to take it upon myself to see if it was in fact true. So I opened up Adobe Audition, which has a built-in spectral frequency display, and sure enough, there it is. Steve's head and the number 12418. At first, the numbers were unassuming, but the number 12 equals C in hexadecimal. And with the corresponding 418, you have a truly spectacular way of adding a visual signature to an auditory work. Genius. Out of all the mobs in the game, the creeper is arguably the most recognized Minecraft creature. But the design of the character was actually a mistake. The creepers were based off a failed model of a pig. The length and height of the pig model were accidentally inverted, resulting in a tall midsection with small legs. In an interview, the creator of Minecraft, Marcus Notch Persson, said, quote, I don't have any modeling programs to do the models, I just write them in code. And I accidentally made the creepers tall instead of long. So it's like a tall thing with four little feet. And that became the creeper, as opposed to the pig. Minecraft was originally called Cave Game. Hmm, I wonder why. An Enderman is a three block tall creepy creature that opens its mouth and shakes when provoked or stared at. Notch publicly acknowledged that the Enderman is a subtle reference to the Slenderman, a slim, long-armed character from the internet meme in 2009. It was eventually made into a popular video game. In fact, in the Halloween texture pack for the Xbox 360 edition, the Enderman is reskinned to look like the Slenderman. When provoked, the sound of an Enderman emits a long moan overlaid with static, just like the Slenderman. Sometimes the iron golems that spawn in villages hold flowers in their hands, awaiting the villager children. This is a reference to the ancient robots of Miyazaki's 1986 animated film Lapura, Castle in the Sky. When villager children notice the poppy in its hand, they slowly approach and eventually take the flower. Also, the iron golems are covered in vines, just like the giant plant-covered robots of the movie. According to Minecraft's creator Notch, the game's protagonist, Steve, and all the other beings in the game are genderless. On his Tumblr page, he states that he once jokingly referred to the main character as Steve. No creature of the game has a gender because he didn't want to force players to make decisions about the sex of their character in a game where gender doesn't even exist. He then noted at the end of the post that by this logic, all the beings of the game are homosexuals. Interesting. A phenomenon unlike any other, Minecraft is a quirky 3D block open world simulator that has captured the hearts of gamers all across the world. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please subscribe to Arcade Cloud. And next time you see your buddies, you can blow their minds with some of these amazing facts.